Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd League of Legends video. My name is Nathan and today we're actually going to be taking a look at Lilia Jungle. This was actually a requested video so I'm just here to do my best to explain her and kind of what she does in the jungle. But let's get right into it. Now Lilia is an AP champion. Uh, she does magic damage over time so she's going to be really big with items like Leandre's Anguish and also Demonic Embrace. Uh, some of her main items are Le Leandre's Demonic Embrace, Sorcerer's Shoes, Rylize is a really big item on her, and also Hourglass to you know make her a little tanky and then she also gets that you know static um, untargetable effect from the stopwatch. It's also good you can also either choose Sorcerer's Shoes or you can do uh, Ionia Boots of Lucidity for the cooldown. It's up to you what you want to build. I prefer Sorcerer Shoes on her, but that's just me. Uh, now, let's just go right into it. Uh, the red buff, we're going to start. And you want to start her Q. And essentially what her Q does is when you use it, it's going to give you movement speed. And then you're also going to deal 42 magic damage, it says here, and then plus an additional 42 true damage at the outer edge. So uh, when you swing your Q, it's going to give you movement speed. Now normally here you would have a uh, jungle help from like bot lane leashing you, but you can see here that I'm getting Prance, which is uh, movement speed while stacking up my Q. So when I actually get full movement speed, which is now, I'll have about, I think it's 4% each movement speed you get. So when you're actually doing the jungle camp, when you're starting red, you kind of want to kite it around. And just do your best to kite it around the edge of the camp. Um, but like I said, normally you'd have a uh, bot lane helping you. But if you didn't, you know, that's just a good way to get you going. Next, let's move on to the Gromps down here. Or the Krugs, sorry. Gromps over here. <laughs> uh, let's move on to the Krugs. Uh, the Krugs, and I'm going to take my W. Uh, same thing here. And you kind of want to kite the big Krug around the little Krug. One, you're stacking up movement speed. Also apply your W. Now your W is going to be a whirl. Um, it's going to be a wind up like attack, as you saw there. Now anybody in the middle of your W is going to take more damage. So if you do your wind up, but it doesn't do the center, uh, that's okay. But you're going to do more damage in the center if you do your wind up. And you can see here that the uh, jungle camps are burning. So. Lilia is very quick in the jungle. Be wary of that. You're going to clear your camp super quickly. Uh, and that's way you're able to get to ganking lanes. Now one thing you want to do here, especially with the birds, is you want to get them in a place where you can hit all of them at once. So you kind of want to bundle them up first like I'm doing now. And just hit them, smack them in the middle, and just continue doing the same thing. Now, we just took her E, which is World Seed. Uh, basically, it lobs, like it says here, World Seed overhead. It will go rolling down a lane. Uh, I could show you here. And whoever it hits first, it's going to hit them, mark them with her Dream Dust, and then it's also going to slow them. Now, this isn't really you know, super helpful in clearing the jungle. Really, with the jungle clears, you just want to stick with using your Q as much as possible because you're going to drain your mana really quick. Um, but you just need to stack up with your Q. Uh, since you're going to be doing blue buff, just use your E. Um, your E is going to help you just clear the camp quicker. And then we'll just go on to Gromp. Now normally you'd be pretty low, so you just want to smite it. So the way you want to gank lanes with Lilia is you don't want to start off with your E. A lot of people like to be like, oh, I'm going to start with my E, right? But then look it. Let's say, you know, champions are fighting up here. Who even says you're going to hit them? It's like people trying to start off their ganks with playing Lee Sin. They're trying to start off with their Q. Like, you don't want to start with your Q. 
uh, you always want to go in with your slow first. So what you want to do is you come into the lane. Let's imagine this minion's the champion. They're fighting. You have a quick time to react. So you're going to hit them with the Q because you're going to start building that movement speed. You're then, as they're running away, going to use your E. That's going to slow them. And then use your W. So start with Q, E, and then W. And then back to Q because that's going to do a rotation that's going to keep your dream dust going now with lilia's moves uh you want to max q w e and then of course always taking your ultimate in between and that's just a pretty simple quick guide to playing lilia she's pretty fairly simple i mean she doesn't take a lot of skill to play um the one thing you do want to know when you're playing her is She's not just going to come in and do like a million damage, you know, she, she's she's definitely an over damage time champion. So the way you want to fight people is you want to wear them down. And because you're building items like Leandre's, because you're building items like Demonic Embrace, that burn on her passive is going to get crazy huge. It's going to do a lot of damage. And you want to get as many champions of the enemy team with Dream Dust so you can pop your R. And your R is just gonna make, you know, whoever's hit with Dream Dust go to sleep. I don't know if it actually makes minions. Let's test that out real quick. Uh, we're gonna level up. We're gonna get our ultimate. We're gonna pop our Q. And it doesn't, okay. Yeah, so her ultimate doesn't actually make minions fall to sleep, unfortunately. But let's say for instance, there was an enemy on the you know other team. You would hit them with one of your abilities it's going to apply that dream dust and whoever's hit with dream dust you make go to sleep or be drowsy for 1.5 seconds um or they'll start to fall asleep and then they'll go to sleep for two seconds my bad um and then when they awaken they'll take an extra magic damage but Lilia, she's fun uh she's fairly simple i'll show the runes i take on her and um yeah that's Lilia. Uh, have fun practicing her and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video take care